Hi guys and welcome to today's fragrance related video. Today we're talking about fragrances I've been wearing lately. So these are my fall fragrance loves for this time of the year. We're getting into the winter time. I'm really into certain fragrances and been wearing them lots and I have to say that my taste has changed a little bit and I'm way more into like the softer, uh, cleaner fragrances than I used to be and less into the super complex vintage fragrances that I used to be into. So maybe that will kind of be reflected in my selection today. But just wanted to say that because I've noticed it and I feel like a fragrance lover's journey sometimes is like that, that your taste changes as you get older and you start to like different things and that's completely okay. And I'm still holding on to my old fragrances because I know that my taste changes, I have these seasons when I'm gravitating towards certain type of things and then I have another kind of season when I feel like, I just want to have something way different, okay? <laughs> so yeah, without further ado, let's get into it, girl. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> last week um, I've been really gravitating on many days uh, when I have like free day or I'm running errands of my own and I don't have a work day uh, or I have school or something. I've been wearing Sheikh al Lux, and this is by Latafa. And this is such a pretty, pretty caramel type scent. Ooh, it's so nice. It's this ambery caramel cinnamon heavy, very cinnamony uh, fragrance. And it really kind of puts me in a like winter slash Christmas spirit. Okay. I don't know why, but to me, this smells super Christmassy and it's super winter appropriate. When it's like snowing out there and I'm wearing this, I feel super cozy. And I think it's just super pretty. It's almost like this kind of honeyed caramel type with like super prominent cinnamon. And I absolutely am in love with the cinnamon. And this has become uh, like my favorite resinous fragrance and I wear it almost every day. And I know it's heavy fragrance. I know that not everybody likes this, but personally it's become one of my absolute favorites. And the thing about this one is that it's super nice in that way that you don't have to put uh, more than two sprays and it will last you a long time and it will project. It's a heavy fragrance. So that's why you don't see a dent because this is such a good fragrance. Okay, so this is a bang for your buck. Do not sleep on this if you are into those like heavier ambers. This is definitely a very beautiful scent. Okay, so yeah, Shake Al Shuyu Lux by Latafa. And then next up, <laughs> I have been rocking this to many places, um, but this is Latafa also. I love Latafa nowadays. I'm a such Latafa ho, okay? But yeah, uh, Latafa Mask So Pudre, and this is from Tamen Collection. Tamen Collection has uh, three different fragrances other than this, so uh, four fragrances in total. I have not tried the other ones, I've only tried this one, but I really like this, okay. So when I've been like running errands or I've I've come straight out of shower and gone to sleep, uh, I've been wearing this because this is a super pretty, uh, moderate projecting, uh, laundry detergent type of clean girl scent, okay. So it's laundry detergent and baby powder and it's really pretty. It has some floral notes, but mainly it's just, to me, like it smells like just washed sheets. And I really like that smell. It's so cozy. It's so clean. It's crisp. Uh, everybody likes it. And I like the fact that this is a moderate projecting one uh, because it doesn't come as overbearing as easily as some masks do. So. I feel like this is perfect for that, like uh, somebody hugs you and they're like, oh, you smell really good. Actually, that happened to me, like my friend gave me a hug and they were like, oh my God, you smell so nice. And I was like, thank you. <laughs> it's this uh, Latafa fragrance that I'm wearing. And they were like, oh my God, it's so nice. It's so fresh. And so I got a compliment on this one. 
couple of days back and yeah it's been in great use after I got this so definitely like this I think this is a powdery mask girls like and so Vicente lovers perfect like moderate projection fragrance so also great if you have these situations that you're at work or you're you have to sit in a bus with other people or something and you don't want to like overwhelm people like I think that this is a perfect one for that and it lasts longer on clothes so when you spray it on clothes it actually does give you like 12 hours which is super nice uh, on skin it lasts about six to eight hours so it's not a beast okay by any means but it's a pretty good fragrance so yeah definitely love it and also can we just <laughs> put it up for a lot of art? this is an adorable bottle okay this is super adorable I love the little gem it's so cute it looks amazing and I just love the color okay it's so cute <laughs> so yeah that one then, uh, to bed, what I've been wearing when I don't wear that uh, Mask So Poudre, I've been wearing Noah. And <laughs> ah, this is so nice. It's this kind of a musky, kind of like heavy soapy, uh, very fuzzy feeling, nice floral, white floral type of uh, mask. And this is more of a vintage mask, okay? It's very fuzzy. To me, it smells like like feathery almost and it's like it has this kind of faint candle uh smell like when you blow out a candle flame like that smell it has that similar like smell to it and that's why i really like it it's a very unique fragrance i have nothing like it this was one of my favorite like first masks ever and I just feel like it's so cute and nice and like very feminine I always feel super feminine when wearing this and it's perfect for like sleeping and like relaxing and <laughs> stuff like that and just cozying up in your house so that's why I've been wearing Noah and Noah lasts a super long time it's like 12 hours and it stays on your clothes it's really nice also I think that this one is super inoffensive so if you're looking for something like that, that's still kind of unique because of that candle flame smell, candle smoke smell. Um, I definitely think that this is a really fun one, okay? So yeah, a really super underrated. So Cacharel Noah, okay? Yeah, that I've been wearing. <laughs> then uh, a couple of days back, I actually wore Bourgeois Cobaco. And I'm so happy that I did not uh, declutter this one because I was wondering whether or not I should declutter it and the reason was that I was wearing this during summertime and I think that this is too heavy for summer ah yeah so this is a aldehydic ambergris and cinnamon fragrance and the aldehydes in this are pretty strong and that was the reason why I was thinking about decluttering this but I'm happy I didn't because this is super nice as long as you kind of spray very little of it, okay? So this is a beast, it does project a lot, uh, the aldehydes are pretty strong in this one. But it has a very unique, kind of like almost a little salty, caramelly, cinnamony type of note structure. But because it's kind of put together with that aldehyde, it's this airy almost like airy and a little cold at the same time so it's kind of a very interesting mix of things and it has this kind of uh, molecule number whatever type uh, feel to it like that ambergris is very interesting in it it's like something that you smell but you kind of don't smell it's it's kind of that weird note that is there but isn't there you know that kind of fixative note and this one has it and it's ambergris super weird in my opinion uh, and i'm kind of on the fence always about it do i like it or do i not and i have these cravings for this one and yeah this is something that I haven't heard a lot of people talking about, but I think it's a unique fragrance and for the price point it's really long-lasting and good, so yeah.
The only thing is that if you don't like aldehydes, you might not like this one. I sometimes get a headache when I wear this because I'm sensitive to aldehydes nowadays. So I'm kind of like sparingly wearing it. <laughs> but yeah, uh, Bourjois by Copaco. Yep, and then uh, I had this workplace party that I went to. This is almost a year, year ago, a week ago. And for that I wore Musk Mood by Latapa. And this one is also a musky fragrance. Can you tell that I've been into musks <laughs> lately? I have. So this one is a really pretty floral musk, okay? So this is floral, a little fruity, way more sparkling, way more kind of like, this is not a fussy musk, this is not a soapy musk, this is a kind of like floral, fruity, sparkly musk. And I like this, uh, I wore this to that workplace event and I got compliments on it, people were hugging me and they were like, oh my god, you smell so nice. And I was like, yes, thank you. <laughs> it's this musk mood. And I don't know, something about this really works with my skin. Uh, some people say that it's overly masculine, but I think that that's actually why it works with my skin so nicely. I don't know, I sometimes get men's fragrances that work better off my skin than female fragrances. And this is kind of that. So this is something that starts off very feminine and then it lands into kind of like citrusy, uh, manly musk, okay? A little bit. And it's very sporty smelling at the end. So that kind of sporty, citrusy musk of uh, male musk type <laughs> scents like that, kind of white musk. And it lands on that and I just find it very unique. I think that this is kind of like musk and fragrance, okay? It's just not like pure musk, no way. It has kind of like that body of that fruitiness and those florals, like white florals. So it's a little, little more interesting. So yeah, and this is a beast. This lasts like 12 to 24 hours. It's insane. It does not come off your clothes, even though you spray it like only one time, like it, it projects. It's a super long lasting mask. So impressive by Latapa. And uh, yeah, my clothes smelled like this two days after. I honestly like had uh, come from that party. My jacket still smelled like this. So yeah, it's a beast, okay? Just be aware of that. It can cause a little headaches for people who are sensitive to musks, so just be aware of that. But I got so many compliments on this. I think three people complimented me while they hugged me, so it's kind of like a moderate projection, so it's not like offensive or anything. It's really nice and I really like it, so yeah, musk mood by Latapa. And then... I'm sorry. I am all the time a little bit sick. I don't know what that's all about. I think it's my medication making me a little bit like stuffy. <laughs> so um, yesterday I wore Velvet Rose when we went out with my boyfriend and we had this kind of a billiard thing with friends. We went and we sat in a bar and just like got some drinks. I got some mocktails. It was nice. We had good time and we were playing billiard, so <laughs> pool. <laughs> so yeah, playing pool, having fun with friends, and I wore Velvet Rose. And this is a Latafa fragrance, super pretty. The bottle is absolutely gorgeous. And this is kind of this velvet suede type fragrance. It really smells like suede uh, leather and rose, like this kind of really juicy rose, okay? Uh, it's very major, cool girl type of smell. I think that it smells very vampy, it's romantic, gothic romantic, and I just find it very much suits my style. I think it's kind of a cool girl scent, <laughs> and I think I'm a cool girl. <laughs> that sounded so conceited, I'm sorry. But like, Anyway, I think it has a vibe, okay? This has been compared to Frederick Marl's Portrait of a Lady 
and I do enjoy this quite a lot. And I really like it because it's moderate projection. As I said, my taste has changed and nowadays I like less assaulting fragrances. I like moderate proje projection fragrances. <laughs> Because I don't want my fragrance to be a problem to other people and I don't want them to cause me headaches. So um, this is a perfect like moder moderate projection, about six to eight hours type of fragrance. I guess I get like 12 hours on my clothes on this. So it's a nice one, but I just like it that it's not like super beastly, okay? It's quite a, quite wearable, honestly. And that's why I really like this one. So yeah, this is my gothic romantic rose fragrance, honestly. But this is not like, it's it's not this jammy rose that's really popular right now. It's more like juicy rose and like suede uh, leather. So yeah, <laughs> if you don't like leather, like skip this. It's super leathery, so um, yeah, but I do like it. I think it's very unique. Love it, okay. So that's Velvet Rose by Latafa. And then today I'm wearing a combination of two fragrances and that is Tesori d'Oriente, Byzantium and La Rive Eternal Kiss. Uh, so I put these two together and we've got a rosy, powdery, musky scent and we've got a honey scent. So when I, when I put these together I get this kind of a... <laughs> It, it smells like almonds, like this kind of powdery sugared al almonds uh, with a little bit of rose and then just a really like intoxicating honey, okay? So I smell like a snack today. <laughs> I think I smell like a cute snack and also a little clean and feminine because this one smells a little soapy type of like rose, rose soap uh, type. So. I'm like a snack, cute snack. <laughs> I'm a honey almond rose snack. <laughs> so yeah, I just discovered this uh, pairing and I really like it. So that's what I'm wearing today. And I think that I'm projecting like super hard right now because I oversprayed. And oh, these two are beasts. These kind of like smell for a super long time. They project like crazy like I feel like I have a scent bubble of two meters so people are probably gonna hate me for it but I don't know I'm loving it so <laughs> it's fine I don't know I felt like super girly today and I was like oh my god I love Byzantium for that because this is like super feminine okay like this is so cute and it's kind of quirky and unique because it's so powdery and then again like this one I just find like it's this gorgeous honey fragrance like super intoxicating super feminine and i was like oh my god i want to be that girl today <laughs> so i was like mm, yeah put them together and it's actually a bomb uh pairing so yeah i know that people don't like this kind of pairing videos because they're like oh my god but i don't have the both of them but these are literally girl like these sm smell amazing both they last super long time and these like both go for like 7 to 12 euros a pop so girl you can get them okay like it's not it's not that much money okay i've been wearing both a lot and i just get these cravings for this like super powdery smells and that's when I use this one so this is like super powdery okay but it also has the prettiest almond note ever so I'm like obsessed yes okay so that's all for today those were my fragrances that I've been wearing lately I hope you guys like this video I'm gonna go out now I'm gonna go some flea market shopping I don't know I feel like I need shopping therapy right now I've had a like really really tough week and like tough month and I'm like Ugh, okay I need to like do something nice for myself so I'm gonna do that and also gonna go to the store and I have some errands to run I'm a busy beach today 
But I hope you guys like this video. I make fragrance videos all the time. If you're not already subscribed, maybe you should. It's real easy, just click the subscription button down below, right there. And maybe even the bell notification, so you notice when I upload. And a like would be appreciated. A like would be liked, <laughs> okay, by me. So I hope you guys like this. I see you guys in my next video. And have a scentful day, y'all. I see you. Bye!